Okay, so I'm going to assume that if you're watching this video, it's because you've done the worksheet that ends here, that you have taken a look at how to convert a terminating decimal to a fraction, how to convert a repeating decimal to a fraction, and that you have tried these. So these are my answers to these questions. How do we handle this? You have some number n, and it's 0 0.616161 forever. Well, we consider that this is the block that repeats, and that block is two digits long. So if we were to multiply by 10 to the 2, that shifts the decimal point two places. You get 61.616161 forever. And that means that if you subtract, the left sides give you 99n. The right sides, these all drop out, and you're left with 61. And so n turns out to be 61 over 99, and we know that 61 is prime, and so that's your fraction in lowest terms. And the same sort of thing happens over here. You have 1.39696969696 forever. That's the block that repeats. This doesn't repeat, this doesn't repeat. That's the block that repeats. And that block is two digits long. So if we multiply by 10 to the 2, we get 139.696969696 forever. These all line up perfectly so that when we subtract, those all drop out, and we get that 99n is, uh, let's see, this is 138.3. So n happens to be 138.3 over 99. Now, you and I both know that you can't have a decimal in the middle of a fraction, so what do we do? We multiply the numerator by 10, and the denominator by 10. Is that in lowest terms? Well, let's see. 990. 990 is 10 times 99. 99 is 3, 3, and 11. Uh, 10 is 2 and 5. 2 definitely doesn't go in here. 5 definitely doesn't go in here. Um, 11 definitely doesn't go in here. Does 3? Three? 3 goes in. Uh, nine, yeah. 3 goes in, but not 9. So we divide by 3, and that's 461, which is definitely not divisible by 3. That's the only factor, and so that's a fraction in lowest terms. And you can confirm that that fraction when converted to a decimal, is 1.3969696, and so on. So then there's this thing, and, and I hope that you were able to play with it a little bit. Uh, we all know that this decimal is one-third. And I'm just going to stress the point here. This decimal isn't approximately one-third. It doesn't come close to one-third. It's not almost one-third. It is one-third because of this dot, dot, dot. If you take it all the way out infinitely many places, which no one could ever do in a million years because we don't have enough time, that decimal is the number one-third. And similarly, this decimal is the number two-thirds. It's not close to two-thirds. It's not almost two-thirds. Once you take it to forever, that number is two-thirds. And so 0.9999999 forever is the number three-thirds. It's not almost one. It's not that it rounds up to one. It's not that it's close to one. This number and that number are the same number, the same exact 
number. They are two different ways to say the exact same thing. If you don't believe me, I'll leave you with some questions. Is there a number between 0.9 repeating and 1? What would it look like to have a number that's between 0.9 repeating and 1? If there's no number between them, they have to be the same. Um, I'll leave you thinking about what's the difference between 0.9 repeating and 1. Uh, and by difference, I mean answer to a subtraction problem. If you do 1 minus this number, what do you get? Uh, odds are good that that's 0. And if the difference is 0, then the numbers are the same. So I want to I wanna stress that with you that it's not that this number is close to 1 and so we say it's 1. These two are different representations for the same exact quantity. Okay? Okay. So what do you have to come away from the lesson knowing? You have to know how to convert a repeating decimal to a fraction in lowest terms. Make up your own. Uh, ma make up your own decimal that that doesn't repeat. Turn it into a fraction in lowest terms. Uh, make up your own decimal that does repeat. And make it into a decimal. Uh, make it into a fraction in lowest terms. Uh, try it out with different size repetends. Uh, eight six seven five three oh nine eight six seven five three oh nine and see what happens when you turn that into a fraction in lowest terms these are skills that I expect you to be able to do your students expect you to be able to do them all right thanks so much